What's up guys, Axis here, bringing you my first episode of my tips and tricks series that I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be basically doing uh, a bunch of videos showing you how to do intros and uh, just like basically how I put them together. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on um, text in Cinema 4D and how the text comes in. Um, I think I've been requested this on uh, one of my videos, I can't remember the username. But, um, so, that's basically why I'm doing this video right now. Um, so, first off, you're going to need two plugins. You're going to need Nitro Blast and Transform. Uh, now, these are all uh, paid plugins, so you're going to need to either buy them or find them someplace else. Uh, yeah. So, get those plugins, install them, make sure they work, and then go into Cinema 4D. Oh, and you can open up your Lightroom, so I've got Vane's Lightroom here. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He's an awesome motion designer. I really love his stuff, so um, go and check that out. Um, so let's just get straight into this tutorial. First, just create a some text first. So just go and get some more text, obviously. And then uh, name your text whatever you want. So I'm just going to do tut, probably. Put it in all cap and then uh, normally in all caps it will look even so I'm just gonna get some uh, font um, I think I'm gonna use Devil Breeze I use that for most of my um, intros in fact now uh, it's just a really nice uh, font so yeah I think I'm gonna go with bold and um, and then I'll just mess about with the horizontal spacing and everything until you get some you like and also might put on some fillet caps just put the radius to one on them and also I might change the depth to like 40 or something it doesn't need to be that deep for um, intro text so uh, now we're gonna go and break this so go into plugins, nitro blast, nitro blast main change quality to high, change your pieces up to 100 and then fracture it and all right, I'm just gonna wait a second until that breaks okay now that's broken go into MoGraph and fracture and then just open up your MoTeX here and you have however many uh, letters you have in your text and just expand this, go down to the bottom, hold shift and select in that um, so select top one go down while holding shift and select the bottom one and then that will select all the pieces drag it into your fracture delete that letter and then just repeat that process with all the other letters then you don't need this motex here so just delete that and now we're just going to grab the transform tool plugin and then as you can see you've got this uh, uh, reference object here you're supposed to drag a fracture into there and now you just click refresh and I'm gonna do an in animation so there and then down here you can change when it comes in so you can do like 5 to 6 or uh, whatever you want and then um, as you can see you've got the stock animation here the text comes in and I'm just gonna go for you have um, in here you have the effects so I'm gonna go for uh, noise fade it's a really nice effect as you can see and you can mess about with the um, rotation and everything, so like that. It's a really nice effect, as you can see. So um, normally what you do with this is you get a nice texture, so I might go for... Um, see, I might go for... I think it says Sezo's um, pack here. So I'll get this spotted grunge or you can just get any grunge texture you want drag it onto the outside 
and this plugin is takes quite a while and it actually yeah right there we go as you can see it's got the texture on the outside now and if I just do a quick render of that just take a bit there we go it's a really nice effect and um, you could add another you could add another um, texture there in the middle for this but what I like to do is I just get like I don't know I'll, I'll pick an orange -y color I guess something like that and then put on reflection put it down to four or three um, and then go down to glow and change the inner strength to about uh, 50 uh, and the outer strength to uh, 100 and then right click on this and go down to uh, objects of shadow so there we go that's the texture and if I just do a quick r render of that it might take a bit longer because I've got all the textures on it but the glow won't be applied until the um, render is finished so let's wait a second for that yeah it looks quite good and um, I think it looks a bit harsh though so um, I might put it down to about 50 and maybe this at 25 so um, that's the basics for um, your text coming in and that's uh, one of the effects I use most so um, now we're just going to go into the render settings and um, I'm going to go and choose a PNG sequence and then check the alpha channel which will make the um, background transparent go into output and I'm going to change this to 1280 by 720 and the frame rate to 25 and here you need to change the frame rate frame range to a uh, manual or all frames and then you set that to however many frames are in your project so I've got three and I've set the three and now when I render out it will render every frame from the first to third so thanks for watching guys and remember to comment any more tutorial suggestions in the comments see if this like give me some feedback and um, I'll see you guys next time thanks